Uh, welcome. Welcome to our Tuesday night webinar. Uh, we're going to get started here in about 60 seconds. Uh, still have an opportunity to get last minute people on the, on the webinar tonight. Let everybody know that we are about to begin. Tonight's an important, a very important webinar. Tonight I'm going to be covering the, uh, the numbers that, that are necessary, the numbers that uh, have to be tracked within your organization. And I really want to make sure you're paying close attention tonight uh, to this presentation and make sure you've got your entire uh, team plugged into this webinar this evening. Uh, these numbers will help you build your business. These numbers will help you take your numbers up inside of your business. And so I want to make sure that we're taking this very, very seriously tonight. Uh, so I would send out the text messages right now, maybe make some phone calls. Uh, make sure that uh, everybody is aware that our uh, our webinar is about to start and that uh, we're, we're plugged in. So I'm just going to give it about uh, 60 more seconds. Uh, let's see here. We'll give it a, yeah, we'll give it a little over 60 seconds for everybody to get plugged in and get on the call. I'm, uh, I'm sending out some text messages myself uh, to get some people uh, last minute on the call. Anyways, guys, uh, we're going to get started here uh, shortly. Just want to make sure we've got an opportunity. Everybody gets an opportunity to get on the on the line. And I'm sending out a last couple last minute text messages myself. Okay, guys, we're gonna we're gonna start here in about uh, 20 seconds. Give everybody an opportunity to send out those uh, last minute text messages, last, make those last minute calls, let everybody know that uh, our webinar is about to begin. We're gonna be starting here in uh, about 10 more seconds. Tonight's webinar, I believe, is gonna be critical for uh, advancing momentum inside of your business. Okay, guys, let's, let's jump into it. Tonight's uh, webinar is titled, uh, The Three Numbers That Are Necessary, The Three Numbers to track these are the numbers that you have to track if you want to build a large organization if you want to take your business to the next level and of course uh, building a large business you know there's a lot of pieces to this puzzle and there's a lot of skills uh, well there's seven main skills that you're going to need but uh, there are other skills that will come into play there's uh, there's laws and there's principles like the 21 irrefutable laws of leadership uh, the, the, uh, the, the philosophies that govern developing other people, developing leaders, all these things are necessary. All these things are things uh, that we must uh, learn, of course, as uh, an organization, as leaders that want to build a large organization. But tonight, I want to give you uh, a very simple uh, tracking system of something very simple that anybody on this call can do. Anybody on this line uh, can track these three numbers that I'm going to give you. And it's very, very simple, but it's so uh, necessary. And if you can get this duplicating through your organization, if you can make this part of what you do inside of your business every single day, uh, and it becomes uh, an important piece to what you're doing, you'll be amazed and, and blown away uh, by the results that you get. So the three numbers that uh, we need to track, the first is our, our meetings. The first is appointments and meetings. When, uh, when I'm talking with somebody and, and they're uh, talking about their their check is down or or uh, their check is flat or things aren't happening for them the way they would like things to happen. One of the first things I ask them to do is send me over their calendar, send me over their appointment book. Let me see uh, what your appointment book looks like. I can tell you what your future looks like based on the appointments that you have today. If three months ago your calendar was not filled with meetings and appointments, if you didn't have uh, appointments and meetings schedule, I can tell you that your check is going to be down today. You know, if you're, if the same goes for today, if you don't have uh, appointments, you don't have meetings, you don't have sit down scheduled today, this week, this month, well, three months from now, you'll be suffering. And, and, and one of the critical 
numbers that we have to track as an organization is meetings. How many meetings and appointments per month are happening? How many meetings and appointments per month are happening within the organization? Of course, we're taking inventory uh, on a one-on-one -on -one basis, but we've also got to take inventory on our group on a group basis on the entire organization. These are numbers that we should know. Uh, if the appointments went flat or went down, of course, the uh, the production is going to go flat. The, uh, the the check is going to go flat. We do not want to be a lazy business person. We do not want to be a lazy secret agent. So we want to make sure that we're we're very serious about tracking the numbers. And every time we're talking with our new agents, we want to ask them number one, how many meetings, how many appointments do you have scheduled? And of course, we want to every month do the plan, do review. You know, we we set the plan up front, especially with our new agents. We do the plan with our our uh, bronze. Uh, we do the plan plans with our executives. We do the plans with our, with our entire organization. We want to know what is that number. You should know that number as a leader of your organization, of a leader of this organization, should know what that number is. How many meetings? How many appointments are happening? Uh, it, by the way, I want to know: Are we having more meetings uh, and, and sit downs, more presentations, more wow parties than we had last month? This is critical if, if we're going to grow the business, guess what else has to grow? Be before your production will grow, before your recruiting will grow, your appointments must grow. The amount of sit downs you're having, the amount of wild parties, the amount of face-to-face -face interaction that you're having with potential agents, that you're having with distributors, these numbers must be increasing. So I wanna track every single month uh, and I wanna make sure that that number is growing. And here's what I can tell you for sure, if that number of those uh, wild party numbers in the entire organization, if the sit down numbers, if the prospecting numbers, if those appointments are increasing every single month, guess what's going to increase? I promise you this, it's it's all correlated, it all is connected. Your check will increase, your business will increase, momentum will increase, and of course, morale uh, will increase. Uh, uh, companies in momentum are having lots of conversation. I was at a, an event with, uh, with Eric Worre over the weekend and and he talked about uh, Tony Robbins, uh, one of Tony Robbins' uh, mentors, who talked about all businesses is conversations. And so all we're doing right now is we're tracking the conversations that we're having about our business. And, and it makes sense. If you're having more conversations about your business, you're going to have more business happening. These conversations are critical. These appointments are about um, the basic building blocks of building a large organization. If you're in momentum, I promise you, you're in momentum because the numbers, whether you know it or not, whether you're tracking them or not, the numbers of appointments, the numbers of conversations about the business, about your business are increasing. Momentum is built by increasing the number of appointments that are taking place. That, 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 that critical activity that starts everything is the foundation, it's the building block. You need to know every single month, are those numbers going up or down? And I can promise you, if you're looking at your paycheck, you know right now if those numbers are going up or down. If your check is up, then your activity is up. If your check is down, then your activity is most likely down. So the first number we've got to track is the number of wild parties, the number of sit downs, basically the number of appointments that are happening, the number of presentations, the number of, of uh, conversations that are happening within the organization. The next number that we've got to track is the, uh, the basic building block. And, and if you're taking notes, by the way, if you have any questions, you're going to see at the uh, underneath the screen that you can you can type in your question. At the very end, I'm going to answer questions. We're, 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 it's not going to be a long uh, webinar tonight, but at the very end, we're going to we're going to do some Q and A. So if you have questions, just look at the, the you know underneath the screen here, and you can type in your specific question, and then I'm going to stick around and I'm going to answer some of these questions. So anyhow, going back to our training, the next number, number two, the number two number that you have to track, and you have to track this every single month. It's the basic building block. It's called rank advancement. It's in our case, you know, we start off as superstar. The, 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 the number that I want to track, the number that I believe we should be tracking from a rank advancement standpoint, the rank that we should be uh, tracking is called the executive rank. We should be tracking the executive rank. We should become an executive manufacturing plant. We should be kicking out executives like crazy. I want to know are the number of executives, are they increasing this month over last month? So if you're brand new on the call tonight, and maybe you're not even at an executive right now, of course, the first thing you must do is, is track your specific numbers, track your amount, your appointments, have uh, the understanding that your goal is to get to this executive position. Because by the way, guys, 
Uh, you never need to focus on any other rank advancement. And, and if, if I could get anything um, through tonight, I got people calling me up saying, I'm going crown. I'm going to go crown royale. I'm going to blue diamond, red diamond, all the positions we have. Look, if you only focus, if, if your blueprint only consists of tracking, getting someone to do the activity, to set up the activities, set the goal for getting to executive, and if that was the number that we track, and if that's all we did, if all we did was focus on creating executives, do you know that every single rank inside of secret would be attained, obtained? The challenge is, is that we get so caught up in these other big, big numbers, and these big ranks, and, and we're not, we don't want to do it. We end up con inevitably confusing the very people that we're trying to get moving. So uh, put a searchlight on this. Make this a serious priority. Uh, uh, figure out what you have to do to double the amount of executives, double the number, whatever that number is, we want to be thinking about the executive. So if the number is zero, zero, of course, what do we got? Okay, guys, I'm sorry. I, I blanked out. My computer said uh, I was computer said I got kicked off of, of the online stream. It may be because I've got a huge storm uh, behind me coming through. Anyways, hope, hopefully you guys are still here. I, I, again, put a put a searchlight inside the organization on this number. Put a spotlight on you to make sure that you're executive. And then the searchlight inside the organization. We're searching out. We're looking for executives. Uh, you should be scared to death to not be creating executives. If you're not creating executives, you're not creating long-term residual income. If you are creating executives, you are creating long-term residual income. I'm telling you, a brand new person could get started and, and hit the executive position this month. This should be the game plan with every single person we bring in. When you come in, we're going to get you to superstar, of course, but the, the whole plan, the mission is within your first 30 days, within that first month, we're going to get you advanced to the executive position. It is more than doable. And when you start to create this as part of the culture, when you start to create this as part of your daily method of operation, you'll start to see the residual income happen. You'll start to see rank advancements. Of course, you can do the numbers when you're starting to create a thousand uh, business volume on one side and a thousand business volume on the other side, which makes an executive. You can easily see how to get to the bronze position. You can easily see how creating executives inside of an organization will inevitably get you to the royal position. And, and you guys get the point by creating, becoming an executive manufacturing plant. And I don't care what the incentive is to get there. You know what the incentive is? The incentive is to know what your numbers are to track long-term residual income that is necessary. It's critical. It's, it's what we do as an organization. We've got to become fanatical. And of course, I'm beating this to death because it's such a critical component. Uh, we need to focus in on what we're doing. And when when someone hits executive, I want to be introducing that person all over the place. I want to have their picture up on Facebook, new executive. I want to make sure if, if, if there's a live event that they're uh, and they're there, I'm going to make sure that everyone knows it's, this is our new executive. I want to teach this everywhere I go, that we're an executive manufacturing plant. This is what we do. This is why we rank advance. This is why the team is growing. I'm highly encouraging you guys to track this number. And, uh, and really, you know, when I'm calling uh, my new agents, I want to find out who's committed to going and I want to call them. I want to tell them, look, if you're committed to making this happen, then I'm going to dedicate my time over the next month to help you make this happen. Now, as you build a larger organization, you're not, you're not only tracking your uh, personal sponsors, the people that you personally sponsored to help create executive. Now you're tracking the entire organization. You want to know how many executives are happening inside of your organization. Now, if your organization is super large, if it's, if it's super, super large, then, then you want to be tra tracking the open line uh, organization, those uh, that are not at the same rank as you, that are, are, are your open line organization. Track that executive number, how many executives are being created in your open line, and then teach your leadership, teach your diamonds, teach your blue diamonds, teach you know those that have achieved these, these high positions, teach them to do the exact same thing, to track within their organization and within their open lines, these numbers, these are, are critical, critical. Uh, the ones that uh, don't make it to executive, we don't want to make them feel bad. So even though we're an executive manufacturing plan, if you've got people that don't make it to the executive, we're not going to beat them up. We're not going to, you know, post on Facebook that they're losers or anything like that. 
Uh, we're going to encourage them to, to, to let's dust it off. Let's go back to the game plan. Let's go back to looking at your numbers and let's figure out what do we have to do? What do we have to do uh, to make this happen? Uh, a couple of things that I wrote some notes down. I want to get in touch with every person that is not an executive. If, if I, I'm going to go through my organization, every single person I'm going to get in touch with, I'm not going to send them a text message. Well, I might, I might send them a text message, let them know, Hey, this is John Malott and I'm going to be contacting you. Uh, because I want to help you earn some residual income. I want to help you rank advance to the executive position, but I want to be picking up the phone again. Let's not be a lazy business. You know, if, uh, uh, if they're not executive yet, again, this is going to go back to, I'm going to call them. I'm going to tell them, look, in the month of September, let's say in the month of September, I'm personally going to spend my time with those people that are committed to hitting the executive position. So if you're telling me that you're committed to hitting the executive position, the month of September, I'm dedicating the entire month to working personally with you to get to executive. And, and everyone else is going to get group time. Everyone else is going to get group time because we have to build the culture. We have to build the community that's that's dedicated. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to run with them. The that I'm going to do, I'm going to do. I'm going to make sure that that when I see their name coming through on the cell phone, uh, sending me a text message to do a three-way call, I already know they're one of the people that are moving toward the executive position. I'm going to make sure that that call gets returned fastest. That call is is a top priority. Uh, it, it, you know, turn turn the ones that do hit the executive this, these are the examples to the entire community. These are the examples to the entire organization. We're going to continue to promote them. We're going to continue to talk about them. We're going to continue to recognize them. We're going to make sure everybody knows that executive is one of our focused positions. It's the beginning to massive long-term wealth inside of secret. If the executive number is not growing guys, then, then the residual income is not going. And this is where we've got to be very concerned. We've got to be looking at that number. And if you haven't been tracking it up to this point, well, that's the reason why we're doing this call track these numbers. The, the final number, the, the third number that we're going to track, uh, that's critical, that's important. And we've got to start tracking it right away because we're so close to the Ignite convention. Our, our most powerful, most important convention that we've ever produced is coming up September 17th. The third number that we're going to track is the convention registration. You should know exactly who is going to, to the convention and who is not going to the convention. And those that are not going to convention or haven't registered yet, we need to find out what exactly is holding them back. And, and whatever it is, let's develop a game plan. Let's develop a plan to get that uh, objection, get that situation, get whatever it is out of the way to make sure that they do not miss the most important event that has ever been done in the history of secret. This convention, by the way, guys, is going to be powerful the enhancements to our system, you're going to see a, 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 a almost a rebranded secret, a streamlined, slim, sexy secret, everything broken down to its lowest common denominator, uh, simplified, basic building blocks, step by step, one, two, three, where a brand new person could get themselves started based on a very systematic approach, a process oriented way of building the business. This is something you want to attend. This is something you should be at. This is Learn directly from the, the, the people that are making it happen. Get the information directly from the horse's mouth, so to speak. The best of the best are going to be there. So how many people do you have registered for the next convention? Hey, if you're new on the call tonight, make sure that you're registered. This is, this is the beginning of it. We're building a business that's about duplication. Whatever you do is going to duplicate. And that unfortunately goes for the bad too, the, the, the good, the bad, and the ugly. It all duplicates. We want to make sure that we're duplicating, getting everybody to the convention. If the fact that the top income earners in the entire company, uh, the CEO, the, the, the whole Ben Shabbat family, all of the, the biggest uh, leaders, the, the brightest stars, those that are creating massive momentum, the people that sign the paychecks, the, the, the product, everything is going to be at this convention. If that's not a big enough reason to be there, let me give you another incentive, some numbers that, that we've, been, uh, we've been fortunate to track through uh, Mr. Eric Worre. He's, he's uh, done some amazing uh, research within the industry on uh, these numbers. And what we've discovered is that uh, one person that, that you bring to a convention, that you get to a convention is worth worth about $1,000 a year. So you guys get the point. If you have 25 people joining you at a convention, they're worth about $25,000 a year. If you want to get to six figures, well, the goal is to get 100 people in that room, get 100 people in a major convention. And that's worth about $100,000 the next year. This, this in itself is a huge incentive. So people say, how is that possible? Why is it? Because there's some, there's a magic that happens. And, 
And for me, I tell people all the time, there's a John Malott before a major convention and a John Malott after a major convention. Uh, two totally different people, two uh, totally different incomes. And, and, and these, these conventions, they, 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 they can compress time frames. If you're someone that's very busy, you don't have a lot of time, well then for sure, you've got to be at this convention because everything is happening at this convention. The, uh, uh, the, the motivation, the inspiration, the information, uh, everything that you need is happening at uh, this convention. The, the details, the, the, the communication, uh, the vision, the developing of leaders. Guys, we're in the, the, we're in the leadership development business. Why not be in the place where our leadership is? We're not being the place where the people that have been developed as leaders are. Uh, so, so let's keep going. So uh, you want to make a million dollars a year. I hear people say all the time, I want to make a million dollars a year. And I can tell you that when Tiffany and I crossed the over a thousand people in an in a international convention, we saw our income go to over a million dollars a year. Now it starts to break down after this. And of course, if you only have, you know, one leg, if you're a, a one legged uh, agent right now, and you, you might have a hundred people in that one leg going to a convention, I'm not talking about, I'm talking about a balanced organization. You know, you've got, uh, maybe you got 50 from one leg and 50 from the other. A balanced organization is, is what is going to create uh, this. It's not going to be someone, you know, joined up and got lucky and had a, an organization built underneath them. And there's a, a thousand people on that one side. Cause there are people on this call tonight that will have a thousand people within their uh, structure, within their organization that will be at the convention, but that's not going to make you a million dollars until you get some balance, until you start to build out uh, the other side. Cause let me just check something. I know we got uh, some people are, are doing the Q and a, um, we send a link out to malots.com webinar. Okay, so yeah, so make sure that uh, if you do have some questions about anything I'm talking about or anything for that matter, uh, just click on the bottom, put your question in there, and we're going to go to that in just a second. You need to know these numbers on a monthly basis. You need to know, again, let's, let's summarize and review. You need to know uh, how many appointments are happening, how many wild parties, how many sit-downs, how many presentations are happening, how many demonstrations are happening, how many of these appointments are being set up every single month within your organization? In the beginning, this is easy to track. If it's you and just a couple of people on your team, I'm telling you, start developing that discipline now. Know those numbers. Do not be a lazy business. Uh, of course, the other number is, is the amount of executives. This basic building block, this is a basic block rank inside of, of Secret is called executive. Know that number. Know how many executives are happening. Know that number clearly. And then also... Inside of that number, you know who you're working with. Have the names, have a list of people that you're working with, and you know exactly. And every day, stay in constant communication with these people. They can get executive done this month. They can get executive done in their first month if they choose to. And of course, the third number that we have to track that's critical that we must track is the number of people that are attending the international convention. Of course, Ignite is around, right around the corner. It's a perfect time to start taking inventory, serious inventory. Who's coming? Uh, do you have your plane ticket? Do you have your registration ticket? Do you, do you have your hotel room? And, and if they don't, then we got to start working with them to figure out how to make that, make that happen. You know, and then look, I think that every single month we need to strategize. We, we need to uh, have a strategy. We need to have a game plan around this. So we come out, we're going into September. We, we, we've got a strategy. What's the goal? What's the goal in each one of these areas within the organization? Let's set a goal. Then let's have a game plan, specific game plan. That could be part of, here's how I'm going to work with you as an organization. Here's how I'll be available for you for three-way calls. Here are the amount uh, of appointments that need to be set when I'm working with an individual, especially a brand new person. We want to have, uh, uh, I think we should have a short call, one short call uh, at the end of every month uh, to do that plan, do, review. Uh, get, all we got to do on that call is give me the numbers. You know, what are your, uh, specifically, what are your meeting number, your appointment numbers, what are those numbers? Well, how many executive directors has executives have been uh, created? And then how many people do you have coming to the convention? That's it. It should be a short call once a month. We should be on and off that call. You can, of course, do that. If you have a large organization, you can do that with your open line. If you have a small organization, you can do that with the entire organization and get these numbers. And then just real quick, quick once we've got those numbers, what's the plan to increase those numbers? If you want to increase your check, we increase those numbers. Jim Rohn does a great talk on on, uh, on the power of numbers and you know you know when he talks about people doing personal development and you, you ask how many books have you read in the last year and they say zero not a good number when you ask your agent you know who's been in the business for the last six months you know how many 
how many appointments do you have set up, you know, this month? And he says two. Well, not a good number. You know, when you, you take inventory of your organization and you've only got 20 people and you've, you've been around for four or five years and you've only got 20 people coming to the international convention, it, it, you take inventory. That's not a good number. And what, let's get a game plan to increase those numbers. Let's get a game plan to increase those numbers. And I promise you guys, this is the this is how you build a big business. This is how professional relationship marketers, this is how professionals that build massive global organizations build the business. They track the numbers, they know the numbers, and they work through those numbers every single uh, day. And every single month, there's a, a small accountability piece. Again, not beating people up if their numbers aren't right. It's just shake your head, not a good number. What's the plan to increase those numbers? Let's keep this thing moving. Let's keep it pushing. Let's start to create the uh, financial freedom that people have joined your business for. Guys, keep in mind, they joined your business because they believe that you could take them there, that you could show them the way. You've got to be professional enough. We've got to be professional enough to truly teach them the ins and outs, the step-by-step -step method in which we build a large organization. Guys, let's go to, uh, to Q&A. Again, keep in mind, September 17th, uh, if you do have any questions, uh, please let me know. Uh, hold on, guys. I've got. Uh, make sure you make sure if you got a question, type in your question right now at the bottom of the screen, and I'm going to uh, I'm going to read some of these questions and uh, and, and do my best to answer. Uh, hold on, once here. Okay, so I've got uh, Sue. I, I appreciate your question. She says, "What are what are the tools you point prospects to first, second, and third? Uh, Sue, I don't know if you've had a chance um, to to go through my uh, text message training that I do. I I, I do this with everybody. Uh, I really like the four minute and forty second video that we have. It's always my first um, my first exposure to a new prospect, and I just send it via text. Hey, watch this video. Check this out. Or if I'm having a conversation with somebody via text and we get on the subject, say, hey, just check out this this video." or check out this short video, watch this short video, and I start the process there. I won't go through the whole thing because if you can go, you go to the malots.com and go into the training section and you'll see uh, there's actually one of our webinars that we did, the entire step-by-step -step process, and, I, and we break it down so it's so systematic that I know exactly there's only two responses that can come. So I've sent the, the, the first video, the four minute and 40 second video. By the way, people say, why do you send that video? Because it's non-threatening. Um, there's nothing that they cannot like about it. There's no individual that they might not like the accent or the way they look or the way they communicate. It's basically it basically sets the stage about the Dead Sea and and and, and the this eighth wonder of the world. And it's very positive. It's very short. It's just designed to get dialogue started. I learned a long time ago that the fortune is in the follow up. I learned from the Direct Selling Association that the average person takes seven exposures before they join a business like this. And I see people trying to hit home runs right out the gate with everybody. I would rather you know get a few people on first base, get some people on second base, third base, and eventually hit a grand slam. Uh, so, uh, you know, I use the I use the text message because it's it's relevant. We read an article not too long ago. It says eighty percent of people respond to their text messages. Uh, eighty percent of people respond to their text message within four minutes of receiving a text message. I know that I get I get voicemail sometimes. I don't get a chance to get to them until the end of the night. So the text message is a way to quickly get some information. We're using these things today more than ever to watch videos, to do business, uh, to run our entire lives. So I, I'm embracing the technology and that's that's where I start. Uh, and then, then it goes to the uh, uh, the second video is, uh, I, I wanna make sure every exposure is a little bigger than the, net, than the last one. Then I go to the 12 minute video that goes more into the opportunity. It's more testimonials and things like that. Um, there's also a great two minute video that Josh Denny just put out that's got some great testimonials. I think that's that fits into this process as well. And then from there, I go to the compensation plan video, this great seven minute video that goes into uh, the, the, the different areas of our compensation plan. It breaks it down without me being there. And here's the beauty of it. There's only two responses. Every time I, I send them information, there's only two responses I can possibly get. And we teach the entire organization, here's, here's response A, here's response B. You're only going to get one of the two. And here's what you say if you get response A. Here's what you say if you get response B. Again, making it extremely systematic allows me uh, to duplicate this thing all over the globe. Let me see here. Um, she's looking for a, you're looking for a Spanish tool. Mark answer. Okay, Mark answered the question. Thank you, John. Um, I have voted for you and Tiffany to our mate. What are my hold on? Hold on. <laughs> I'm getting a bunch of stuff coming through here. We don't have time for everything. I'm just going to read a couple more here. Um, let's see. Is, 
<laughs> my question is, is Tiffany still in Australia? Uh, yes. Uh, actually, Tiffany was in, we were in Las Vegas uh, over the weekend, uh, participating in the uh, uh, the most powerful women in network marketing event. And it was powerful. Kim Kiyosaki, some of the most amazing uh, women in business were there. And of course, Tiffany was one of the headliners. She, she actually closed out uh, the event on the final day and another powerful, powerful event. And how much longer uh, will she be there? Uh, Tiffany will be there until uh, she feels like not being there. She will uh, continue to build in Australia. If you know anybody in Australia, we're building there for you. I'll be heading out there after the convention. Uh, we're going to continue to build. We believe that market has massive, massive potential. We're going to raise up, develop, and equip leaders in Australia. And if you want to participate in that, you don't have to go to Australia. We already have a house there, and we will help you build. Uh, what if you don't have the money to come to Ignite? What do you suggest I do, John? Thanks for your help. I, look, I can t I can relate. Man, I remember uh, not having the money to come to a convention, and, and I, so I basically said I couldn't afford it. I was fortunate. My mentor said, you can't afford not to. If you're making excuses um, that you don't have the money, but uh, there's things you can do. If you're in secret, you know, of course, you've got a business that allows you to earn some money. Uh, I'll tell you what I did in the beginning. I hopped in my Pontiac 2000 two-tone, uh, one-tone rust, one-tone dirt. And I rolled out with uh, enough gas and, and, and enough cash in my pocket to get me there. Uh, there was a lot of faith. Um, I, I, I hate to say it, but I did sleep in my car the first, the very first night. The second, uh, the second night, I was only there for two nights. The second night, um, I actually stayed in the hotel lobby and I ate pizza with one of the big groups that were there that, that ordered pizza. I was a bit hungry. Uh, but the information that I got at the event uh, set the stage for the next time I went. I went with a handful of people and we pooled things together. I love what the Milwaukee group does. They get a couple of rooms and they get a whole bunch of people together and they, they, they go to the grocery store and they get coolers filled with sandwiches. Uh, I remember being in, in rooms, you know, tell you, I don't want to tell you this necessarily, but, but this is the, the fact of the matter. There was sacrifice that maybe we'd have 10, 15 guys piled up in one room sleeping on the floor. I remember sleeping one night. It was my my uh, short straw. I ended up in, a, in the bathtub one night uh, with a blanket and a pillow. Uh, I mean, I, if you look at the great success stories, you know, most of them are not stories. The ones we respect the most are not the ones that said, I was born with a silver spoon in my mouth. I had all the resources, all the time and money you could imagine. You know, the stories that we respect and the stories that have the greatest impact are like the stories of the Henry Fords who who didn't make it to the seventh grade, who didn't have anything except for an idea and, and a lot of tenacity and a lot of persistence. You know, the stories we respect are those that, that overcame major obstacles. By the way, uh, we all have these obstacles. We all have financial challenges. We all have time challenges. We all have these things. And, and I had a mentor one time, so you can make excuses or you can make money. And I don't want to lighten anybody's challenges, you know, because when you're going through a financial crisis, that's a major challenge to you, but you have to grow through that. Some people they stay where their problem is. The solution to their financial challenge happens to be in Phoenix, Arizona, September 17th. But there's a lot of people that have already made a decision to stay where their problem is and to wallow in their problem. I remember a pastor at my church one time did a talk called From the Pit to the Palace. And he said, most people will, will stay stuck in the pit and never make it to the palace. And they, they wallow in that pit and they, 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 they don't do anything to change that. They complain about it. Nobody likes being in the pit. But, but so many people stay in that pit. That pit is, is jam-packed with people who are looking at each other and saying, you're right, I'm in the pit too. You're in the pit, I'm in the pit, we're all in the pit. Few people up in the palace, of course, we think they got lucky, but they were usually the ones that figured out a way, they trudged through that no matter what. I can promise you this, that if, if, if my child, if I, if I was broke, I couldn't pay my bills, but my child needed, I don't know, whatever uh, money, for a particular vaccination or a particular surgery, I promise you there's not much I wouldn't do uh, to make sure that that came to pass. We have the ability to do amazing things. I had a cocaine habit when I was a teenager. I had no money, had no job, but it's interesting how my mind went to work every single day to do the activity that I needed to do to get the money that I needed to get to get the drug. Now, now this is a negative approach to what I'm saying, but it's the power of the human mind and we can use it for good. We can use it for bad. It's, it's up to you, but it's not that expensive to get to Phoenix. There are people driving there. There's tons of people that I've seen putting out uh, posts to share, to stay in rooms together and, and, and share the cost. So I'd, I'd highly encourage you to look at where you're at. Uh, the, the, the most important part is that time that is, is 
invested there, I promise you will pay off big time. And it, it certainly did for me. Did it happen overnight? No. But what I found is all my bills were still waiting for me when I got home. Uh, those bills were still there. The bill collectors were still there. But you know what was different is that my mindset was different. My ability to change my financial situation was different. I got some nuggets that I started to implement immediately. Those nuggets started to produce better fruit. It wasn't enough at that time, but it was more than I had before I went. And over a period of time, I started to build that momentum. Um, all right, real quick, guys, I'm going to do just a couple more. How in the world do I get my friends and family to ignite? I just can't get them to get excited like me. What do I do? Not everyone's going to be excited like you. I apologize. <laughs> I, I, I Look around. I don't know how many of my family and, and, and friends you guys see inside a secret. Well, I can tell you, you don't see any of them. My father's in the business. Um, he's in it, you know, but he may be at Ignite. He may not be at Ignite. Uh, my brother, you've never seen in your life. He will for sure not be there. Um, my daughters are in the business. They most likely won't be there unless uh, unless they show up uh, with me. I, most of the people that are closest to you, your family and friends, tend to be practiced for the bigger game. And I would use third party with everybody that's close to me. I would make sure that that I wasn't telling my brother why he should be coming to Ignite. I would get somebody on the phone as an expert and get my brother just to listen. And you'd be surprised on how powerful third party is that coming from somebody else may get them to go there. But not everybody's going to be excited, guys. You know, we get paid big, big money because most people won't be excited. Most of the world is not excited. The masses live lives of quiet desperation. The masses live paycheck to paycheck. I had a mentor tell me, he says, do what most people are not willing to do and you will end up with what most people can never have. And it comes down to, your willingness, your enthusiasm. Look, there's one Donald Trump. There's one uh, Steve Jobs. There's one Ray Kroc. There's there's there, there's one Richard Branson. There's one you. And, and these are the stories that get written about. There's one Martin Luther King. There's one Mother Teresa. These are the breakthrough stories. Every single day, we're building up to breakthrough. We're building up to breakthrough. You do what you can. I would highly encourage you to be the one to be at the convention, to be at Ignite, post your excitement, show them what's happening, and then come back with a completely different mindset, your approach to them is probably going to change. All of a sudden, they start to see your lifestyle change. They see your attitude changing. Maybe they see your zip code eventually changing, your, your car changing, your bank account changing. And all of a sudden, now they're asking questions. And maybe, just maybe, maybe it's different than it is in my family. Somebody inside of your family gets enthusiastic enough uh, to join you. Now, there are some families that have done very well and have worked together and got enthusiastic together, but that's, not, that's more the exception it is than it is the norm. Um, how much are Ignite tickets and how do I get access to them? I wanted to stay with the rest of the secret group. What hotel? The uh, Hyatt uh, downtown. Uh, we'll put a link up on my Facebook page uh, when we wrap this up. I'll put a link up uh, to that, uh, to the host hotel. I would encourage you to stay where the heat is, stay where the fire is so you stay warm. Um, look online. Go to, you guys should know this, uh, secretdirect.com. Uh, go into your back office, log into your back office. All the details about Ignite is in there. I don't even know what the cost is right now. I, I, I believe it's under $200 uh, to get registered. Um, but whatever it is, I would I would highly encourage you make that commitment. Make sure that you get there. And uh, we look forward to seeing you there. We look forward to pouring into you. We've got so many amazing, amazing things happening inside a secret. It keeps getting better and better. We are not stopping, guys. This, this is a global powerhouse. You are smack dab in the middle of one of the most amazing uh, history in the making stories ever created. I, I'm convinced of that. Yes. Is it, does it take work? I, I apologize. I wish I could tell you it's easy money. I wish I could tell you, you could just go hustle and get a bunch of money and you're set forever. No, you're going to have to become something here. You want to have long-term drinking out of a coconut money? With your family drinking out of a coconut, you're going to have to put some time in. You're going to have to put the effort in. You're going to have to, you're going to have to do the appointments. You're going to have to participate in the appointments. You're going to have to develop leaders. You're going to have to track the numbers that I've talked about. You have to do these things. I once heard it said, you do the thing to have the power. You don't get the power, then do the thing. Some people are waiting for the power, then they say, then I'll go do it. It doesn't work that way. You go do it, and then you get the power. I'd highly encourage you to make the sacrifices that are necessary. You guys know this, that there is no return without an investment. The, the beauty of this investment is an investment in your future. It's an investment in, 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 uh, in your family's future. It's an investment in your business, which will pay you a lot more than the investment that most people make every single day. Uh, going to a, work, a job that they can't stand. I'm not telling you to quit your job, but but uh, a lot of people are dissatisfied. They're unfulfilled in their current roles. 
And the only way to change that, the only way to get fulfillment, the only way to get some purpose is to start operating on your terms, to start following the principles that got other people fulfillment, got other people purposeful lives. And, and we've got that. And we don't always get to pick our passion. Sometimes our passion picks us. I didn't know that secret skincare was going to become my passion, but I, I, I have recently discovered that my passion is developing people, developing leaders and using great products as a vehicle, great products that I can go to sleep at night knowing I'm delivering quality and value to the marketplace. And, uh, and people are getting this and you're, and obviously you're getting it too. I appreciate, let me just see. Uh, I don't, you know, we're running out of time guys. Uh, I'm going to, we'll, uh, we'll go through these questions later and maybe answer some of them uh, directly uh, outside of this call, but we're coming up now on, uh, on just about 45 minutes. I don't want to, take much more time than that. But I appreciate everybody being on the line. I want you to understand that we're building something significant. Uh, we're building something relevant and uh, we're building it for the long term. If you want to have that long term residual income, follow what we're talking about. Make sure you go back to the malots.com website. There's some previous webinars that we've done. Uh, we've, we've got a system for every step in the process. Uh, you're going to see us slimming down and trimming down our getting started right process. You're going to see a lot more focus on the tracking of the, the, the relevant numbers, the numbers that are necessary. We're cutting a lot of fat out of the system so that we can uh, look, we can ice skate on this thing when, when we're done with it, coming out of Ignite. So anyways, guys, appreciate you being on the line. Uh, get registered. Get your team registered. Track those numbers. Take care. God bless. Good night.